Hey, what's up guys? David here from Dignited. Today, I want to show you how to connect a laptop to Ethernet when there is no Ethernet port. All right, let's get into it. All right, so if you're using a newer laptop like a MacBook, Ultrabook, or even some newer Windows machines, chances are there is no Ethernet port inside so this is an asus vivo book and as you can see here i have hdmi and uh, usb a and usb c ports all right but there is absolutely no ethernet port on this laptop here yes and then i also have another windows machine this is a slightly newer model it's an hp machine and uh, again you can see there is no ethernet port inside this is hdmi this is usb c uh, an audio jack port there and then again usb a ports right here okay once again there is no ethernet port at all so let me show you how to really get started if you want to connect ethernet to um, laptops like these all right all right so what you will need is a usb a to ethernet adapter something like this all right so this is the classic version usb a port this rectangular port here okay if you want to connect to the rectangular ports right here but if you have a usb port only some laptops only have usb c port the oval shape port then you will have to get an a, a usb c to ethernet adapter all right usb-c to ethernet adapter they are also available i'm going to put the links in the description below where you can purchase them and then of course you'll also need an ethernet cable okay this is a cat5 is an ethernet cable end to end like this so the length will uh, depend on how far uh, your laptop is from an ethernet um port or a router or a switch yes so which brings in the third component you need uh, a router here with the ethernet port or a switch or a hub right yes so for me i have uh, a router with ethernet ports right here yes so that is all that you will actually need i have to emphasize that you will have to get a very re reputable usb c to ethernet adapter because some of them will not actually work right yes for example i got this this is the same thing this is a usb uh, a to ethernet adapter but this did not work okay it's a generic uh, adapter but it didn't really work so you have to go for tried and tested also uh, you have to be keen on speeds right yes so this is a giga ethernet adapter which means that it's capable of giga ethernet right through usb 3.0 port here whereas this is uh, uh, 100 mbps all right so it's much slower so you have to really understand the speeds if you want faster speeds then you have to go with the giga ethernet uh, adapter like this one here yes right so that's it let me now show you how you can connect this uh ethernet adapter to your laptop all right you have a usb a port here and then of course the ethernet port here so just get this cable here plug it in right here and then of course this is going to go to your laptop usb a port so let's do that right now and just going to plug it in right here okay Yes. Yeah. And then the other end, of course, is going to go to your uh, switch or router. So make sure that it gets into one of the LAN ports of your router. So I'm just going to put it to LAN for here. Okay, just like that. And your router should be able to show that the port is uh, connected. You should be able to see an LED uh, light here, okay? That shows that the connection is now up and running. Yes. So now on your Windows laptop or Chromebook or Mac, you should be able to come to the network icon here and uh, you have the Wi-Fi networks right here but most importantly, you see an ethernet connection right here. So tap on it, you can come to ethernet here to just now see the details of your ethernet connection. 
all right and uh, yeah so it's right here it shows that it's connected the ip address has been assigned uh, right here and uh, you can see the manufacturer this is realtech very reliable uh, adapter manufacturer it's realtech usb fe family controller here so that means that now uh, the Ethernet connection is up and running. But you can notice that my laptop is connected both to the Wi-Fi and the Ethernet. So what connection takes precedence? By default, it is the Ethernet connection that takes precedence, right? So your laptop is going to connect through the Ethernet connection first instead of the Wi-Fi connection. Yes, but if you really want to be sure, you can just disconnect the Wi-Fi so that it's only the Ethernet that is uh, available. All right, so in case you don't have this uh, USB-A to Ethernet adapter here, you have uh, different alternatives that you can uh, consider. You can go with a USB-C hub, which has an Ethernet port. Usually the USB-C hubs have different ports like HDMI, USB-A, and uh, Ethernet as well. And then you can also consider docking stations. Uh, it's great for disk setups. One plug connects to Ethernet and everything else. You can also consider Thunderbolt to Ethernet. You know, that's for really high speed setups and uh, pro gear. All right. So those are some of the alternatives that you can consider. Yes. Now, if you've connected your adapter and it's not working, then you want to try these quick checks. One, you'll have to try another USB a hub okay as your laptop has different uh usb a ports so try different usb a ports and see if it works then you also want to consider restarting your laptop all right and then sometimes you want to update your network drivers this is especially true on windows right yes i've uh, had a scenario where i had to reinstall drivers or update drivers on my windows machine Yes, but some of you may be wondering, okay, it's 2025, why would you even bother with Ethernet in this day and age? Well, I'll tell you why. One, uh, Ethernet is way more stable than Wi-Fi, which means that it's great for video calls, downloads, and online gaming. And then the other point is that Ethernet is much more faster, especially if you have Giga Ethernet, or even these days you have 2.5 Giga Ethernet ports, all right? And then if you have uh, an office or you're in a business environment, Ethernet is much, much more secure than Wi-Fi. You know, we've had stories of Wi-Fi networks being hacked into. So those are the three major points why you'd want to consider uh, Ethernet. The, th the fourth, actually, for me, is Wi-Fi signal. Sometimes you're in a very congested area, and the best way to have the best experience is actually to have Ethernet connection. All right, guys, this wraps up our video on how to connect your laptop without an Ethernet port to an Ethernet network using a USB A to Ethernet adapter. Now, if you like this video, please go ahead and give us a, a thumbs up, uh, subscribe to the channel, and ring the bell icon to be notified of future videos. Otherwise, if you've got a question or you're stuck somewhere in the step, please drop a comment. I'll be able to respond to most of them. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.